A year has passed since the city of Columbia created a street crimes unit. The question is whether or not the unit has made a significant difference. Police have busted some criminals, but say that many more are taking the streets. Hear from Columbia's police chief and find out where the most crimes are happening and where some say police could still do more. Join us tonight at 10 o'clock for much more. All right, Brooke, thanks a lot. A major city's traffic finally gets back to normal. And the health care debate heats up as the president prepares to reveal more about his solution. AOMU8's Brooke Hass joins us in the studio with your first news from around the nation. Brooke. A White House spokesman says President Barack Obama will answer many of the big questions on health care in his speech to Congress tomorrow night. Meanwhile, lawmakers in Congress are wondering whether Obama's solution to health care will include a public option. The public option is simply a government plan to compete with private companies. But even with all the debate around health care, the White House refuses to give out any details. And the San Francisco Bay Area Bridge reopened after highway officials closed the bridge last week because of a five-inch crack. The crack was discovered during a routine maintenance last Friday. Crews worked around the clock to repair the problem. City officials announced the reopening this morning ahead of schedule. An estimated 260,000 vehicles cross the bridge daily. It looks like a child's sandbox, but it's life-size. A fire truck dropped into a sinkhole while responding to a water main break in California. The truck landed at a 45-degree angle, but it kept sinking. Firefighters were able to get out safely, and no one was injured. Now let's head to Studio 8B for your first world report. The success of the 2008 Tour of Missouri has brought the race back again in 2009. In its fourth day, bikers will cross the start line in St. James, pedaling north to Jefferson City. That's where we find KOMU8's Brooke Hash. She's near the capital finish line. Megan and Lauren, an estimated 40,000 people will be congregating around Jefferson City's capital streets throughout the day today. It's the Tour of Missouri's fourth stage out of seven. Now crews have just come behind us, setting up tents already. The streets around the Capitol have been blocked off to the public for now. Now at 2 p.m. today, bikers will begin in St. James, cycling 109.2 miles to the Capitol. Jefferson City has served as both a stage start in 2007 tours, as well as a stage finish in the 2008. The city has overwhelmingly supported this event and continues to welcome the cycling community each year. As for the economic impact of last year's race, Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder said the race brought nearly $30 million to Missouri's economy. That's a number that's expected to increase as the Tour of Missouri becomes one of the most competitive professional cycling events ever held on American soil. Now free events are held for the public all throughout the day today. Bikers are expected to cross the finish line between 5 and 7.30 tonight. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Brooke Hash, KOMU 8 News. All right, Brooke, thank you very much. Criminals are using one community website to engage in a prostitution business. And a change in government's terror alert system. KOMU 8's Brooke Hash joins us now in the studio with your first news from around the nation. The government's terror alert system could be getting a facelift. A bipartisan task force plans on reducing the color-coded advisory chart from five colors to three. It devised the system after the attacks of September 11th to make Americans more aware of imminent threats. But it's also been the target of jokes that the Bush administration used it for political manipulation. Police arrested 34 people for undercover prostitution using Craigslist ads. The Sheriff's Office in Polk County, Florida is going after Craigslist. Undercover deputies got in touch with women through the website who were later arrested. The Sheriff's also plans on tracking down men who use Craigslist for this purpose, using information investigators got from the women's Blackberries. Minneapolis police are introducing a new tool to kids to help do the right thing. Police launched an anonymous citywide tip line for kids to speak up at Southwest High School in Minneapolis. The system would allow kids to text or call information about potential threats. The number is 1-866-SPEAK-UP. That's your first news around the nation. I'm Brooke Hash, live in Columbia. It's been an issue in the news for months. And today, a meeting, but you're not invited. Okay, Brooke, 546 is your time. This I thought we were friends. <laughs> I don't know. Why would you not want to invite me? 546 is your time this morning. We have weather to talk about this morning for uh, really not for us. But ladies, back to you.
All right, thanks, Eric. In a blaze of a hiring process, Boone County's fire chief position will soon have a permanent replacement. And only two candidates are left in the running. KMU 8's Brooke Hash is live in Columbia, where the two will turn up the heat within hours. I'm, front, I'm here in front of Boone County's Fire Protection District where the final two candidates will face a review board in just two hours. Now Scott Olson and Kenneth Kraft Jr. will be the topic of a public interview held today at 8 a.m. Then the doors will close for a private meeting with the two that is off limits to the public. Today marks the final evaluations of the candidates. The review board will include volunteer firefighters, ambulance service providers, Boone County residents and other firefighting agencies in the county. The board's chairman says he sees the position being filled mid to late September. The new fire chief will oversee the district's management and $3.5 million worth of an annual budget. The fire district covers 300 volunteers, 120 stations, as well as the federally funded Missouri Task Force One. Reporting live in Columbia, Brooke Ash, KLMU 8 News. All right, Brooke, thanks so much. I'm Brooke Hash, live in Columbia. We are this close to finding out who Boone County's new fire chief will be. There are two candidates left in the running. Scott Olson and Kenneth Kraft Jr. will face a review board in just one hour. That's 8 a.m. Today, the public is invited to view only part of that interview session. The candidates will then face another interview in a private meeting at 1230. That is off to the public. The economy creates a full circle impact on the nation's credit situation. And the most debated health care legislation is now in progress. KOMU 8's Brooke Hash joins us in the studio with your first news from around the nation. The Senate Finance Committee started work on the health care legislation today. The committee is listening to hundreds of proposed amendments to the Bacchus health care bill. One of the arguments includes whether or not the bill should have a public health care option. The next step will be for members to vote on sending the bill to the full Senate. More Americans are considered high credit risks. The number has risen by 5 million to a little less than 40 million, but at the same time, fewer people qualify for the best rates. Analysts say it's because many borrowers have been late on payments. Watchdog groups are asking Congress to make sure lenders don't overly limit credit options. President Obama addressed world leaders at the United Nations Climate Change Summit today. He said the stability of each nation is in jeopardy because of the effects of climate change. It could include rising sea levels, powerful storms, and frequent drought. Obama called on developed countries to help developing nations with financial aid and technical assistance. That's Around the Nation. Now let's go with KOMU 8's Becca Haberger with the first news from around the world. Don't text and drive, that's the state law. Coming up, figure out which Missouri high schools are taking action to promote it. From Warren County to Hannibal to Monroe City, these are just a few of Missouri's school districts promoting the newest texting and driving law. Today, Mexico high schoolers will help bring awareness to their community. KMU 8's Brooke Hash joins us live in the studio to let us know about all of today's events. Brooke? Lauren and Megan, since August 28th, if you are 21 and under and caught while texting and driving, you can be ticketed. It comes with a $200 fine and points on your record. Over the last month, high schools across the state have taken part in making their peers aware. Today, Mexico High School will follow the lead with a press conference at 10 a.m. Mexico and Audrain County law enforcement, as well as MoDOT and state legislators will be there. Just before the press conference, Mexico students will spray paint the new buckle up stencil on the high school's parking lot. Missouri is the 23rd state to ban texting while driving, but it's only one of nine to single out the particular age group. Again, the press conference is at 10 a.m. today at Mexico High School. The public is invited to attend.